I figured I would go and just permanently modify this thing. Uh, my initial video was more for a temporary uh, fix, just so I wasn't scratching my switch and um, basically giving you guys the idea of this is what it potentially could be. Um, it was never meant to be permanent and uh, I always intended to do something else. So uh, this is what I came up with. So um, as you can see here, it doesn't look too bad. Um, I actually have a couple stickers on order that I'm just gonna put something similar to that just so you have some sort of um, idea of what it could look like uh, for you if you decide to do something like this um, so as you can see from the a top view there it's very smooth it's a decent cut I mean you can see some of the, um, the inside little um, you know posts and stuff like that that stick out from there but again it's not too bad I'm happy with that uh, when it's sitting there it looks very clean and it actually looks like it was designed and meant to be like that so I thought I would just go through quickly um, how I did this um, and if you guys want to try doing something like this similar you know feel free go right ahead uh, let me know how it works out for you in the comments below so I'm not gonna waste a whole lot of time I want to get this video done short um, and quickly you know it, I want it to be as short and sweet as possible for you guys so I'm not keeping you here for a long time so let's get right into it Okay, so first thing you're going to want to do is you need to have um, either a um, fur on the back here. They, this is a Nintendo uh, tri-tip security screw. You're either going to need to have that physical uh, type of uh, screwdriver or you could use something like a small uh, flat blade that will fit in between two of them or uh, even a... Uh, sharp steak knife something with a point on it that you can get in there you can get those six screws out they're not that hard to get out uh, just be careful that you don't really go stripping the heck out of the uh, the screws so um, I have something that's gonna work here I do have a um, screwdriver bit on order it should be here like tomorrow or the next day but I didn't feel like waiting for it to finish this so um, I may do with what I had I will post a link in the description down below for you guys if you do want to buy, go ahead and buy one of those uh, screwdrivers uh, they were around five dollars and again that was on Amazon so uh, you're gonna see the um, there's one two three there's eight screws on this first part here four of them are gonna be short four of them are gonna be long um, I use the short screws for this recessed area here um, so right in here, these are all the short screws and then the four long ones are gonna be right here. And this is where our circuit board sits at. So um, now that we have the screws loose, we're gonna just pull the back co cover off, set that aside. Now we have our little circuit board here. Make sure that you ground yourself out on something metal. Make sure you don't have any static discharge or you will fry this board. So you do have to move this out of the way. Um, you just have to flip it over, not a big deal. There's actually two flanges, two little clips, one here and one here. You just need to slightly bend those back this way and then the whole board's just gonna flip over just like that. So uh, let's see here. And again, that doesn't take a lot of force uh, to actually loosen those tabs up. So like you see there, I just loosen those two up and we're just gonna take and we're gonna flip that out of the way just like that. Okay, so now we have one, two, three, and then there's two, three more that are recessed down in there. We need to get these three out. Now, luckily, these are actually Phillips screws, so they're a lot easier to get out. We're not gonna have a problem or worrying about stripping. You can actually, um, any number one Phillips should work for you. Uh, you wanna take those six screws out. And we're almost to the meat and potatoes of this whole project here. And they're recessed down in there pretty good. So you're going to want to have a, uh, a fairly small Phillips screwdriver. Um, something like that right there. As you can see, it's pretty small. Um, this particular one even has a little magnetism to it. Not much, but just enough that it will actually pull the screws out of the hole for me, which is pretty nice. So now that I got those screws out, 
what we want to do is we're just going to lay that back over like that. We don't want to pop it back in there permanently because we're going to be moving that around again. So now I have my front cover loose. Now what we need to do is we're just going to lift the bottom up a little bit just like that and we're just going to push up on it until it pops off of there just like that. And just be careful because you still have a wire connected to this. So when we flip that over you can see right here that we have the little um, LED. This is what you know turns on a light there and tell you that you have it in uh, docked mode uh, for TV mode or whatever. So we just want to uh, carefully pull this little circuit board out of here. It's not clipped in or anything. It just kind of rests in a little channel there. You just want to pull that out and we're going to set the whole dock aside and everything. Okay. So we're just going to set that over there just like that. Now you have a little plastic piece in there. I don't know if it's, you can see it there. Uh, you can see it pretty easy on the back side there. Now what we want to do is we just want to push that out of there. Uh, I just I'm afraid you guys might lose it uh, if you leave it in there for this project. So we just want to pull that out and we're going to set that aside. Okay. So I'm going to pull my little badge off here and I'm going to set this back together like it would have originally been. Okay. So now on the back side of this cover, once you get the whole cover off, you can see it's going to look like that. You'll have this piece here. Now this piece actually is basically like an inner liner almost. It basically just it just clips in there like that and then uh, you know when this is all bolted on uh, this is what actually is theoretically scratching people's switches. This this piece right here. So it was pretty important to get that thing either taped up or felt over it or something like that or if you want to do the route that I'm doing you could actually cut the front of it off and modify this whole thing. So basically what you want to do now is you have your full cover here just like this. You just want to push down on that just like that and you're going to want to lift this right up out of there. Okay, We're going to set that aside. You don't need that anymore. We're done with it. So what I suggest doing is um, getting a razor knife and you can see that there is all these tabs here see one two three four tabs there and then we have these weird looking tabs with the three lines on them you want to make sure that you cut above those okay it's very important if you cut below it you're gonna ruin this whole plate so just make sure that you cut exactly where I did so on the sides here you'll see a couple tabs right there and there I just made a mark with a razor knife literally right below that right there and right there so I just marked those both off okay so now what you want to do is, or what I did was, when I had that mark in there on the back side here, I just continued to mark around just like that and did the same on the other side. Just marked. Now, I can see both of those marks. I'm going to flip this around and I can see a mark there and there. So what I did was, I just took a, a ruler, something flat. It doesn't have to be like angled like this. Uh, incidentally, I bought this at... Um, Lowe's um, for around ten dollars not a big deal I wanted one anyway but what I what I would suggest to do is once you get that uh, those both marked out you're gonna want to sit this on here it gives you a straight angle this way and it makes sure that you're it's straight that way so all I did from there was I have this in the position I want it I held it down very firm and then I took my knife and I just kept scoring it let me put this in a direction that you can actually see so I had this firmed and I just kept scoring it with the knife. That's all I did. I kept scoring it until I was about halfway through the plastic. Um, this serves as a guide so you can make sure that your score is real nice and straight. Now you can do this one of two ways. Once you get that scored out pretty good, you could actually take a hacksaw and you could just hacksaw right through it. But you gotta be very careful. A lot of times you can't get a real straight cut with these. So what I recommend to keep doing is um, just keep scoring that until it's about halfway through there and then you're going to want to just bend it keep bending it back and forth you'll start to see the inside here turn white right on the line where you're bending it at and then just snap it clean uh, you know snap it clean in between the two now you can see that's actually the, the cut I didn't sand this I didn't do anything to it but that's what your your cut will look like when you um, if you do this properly just like that now um, it's a little bit rough. There's a burr on there, you know. So what what you need to do then is you want to take like a piece of sandpaper, sand cloth, something like that. Um, 
and what I would say to do is just sand the top of this until you get a nice smooth ed edge just like that. Um, just be careful that you don't hit the face too much. As you can see there, I kind of scuffed up the side of mine and right there. Now I'm putting something over top of this so you're not really going to see, but you will see those couple little scratches in there. So just be, be careful for that. That's it. Um, but yeah, just try to clean up the sides as best you can, you know, with your uh, sand cloth. And, um, you know, a couple minutes, you know, working on that. And then that's it, man. Uh, after that, you're pretty much ready to put this thing back together. I just blew all the dust out of it and everything. And um, that's it. That That's what we got. Um, to me, this looks much nicer. The reason I did this is because I have mine mounted up underneath my monitor there. And it's hard for me to pull the switch up out the whole, you know, the whole height of the uh, dock. So by cutting that down, it actually only, uh, you know, lets me have to pick it up about an inch and a half before I can actually pull it straight out of the dock. So it works much better like this. By looking at the design of this thing, it almost looks like that's probably what they meant to do initially. And they probably changed the design at some point. So they basically just added on this, you know, piece of crap plastic, you know, piece that's just a little bit higher to cover most of the screen. But I don't know. I, I kind of like it the way I have it better. And I just wanted to share that with you guys.